Florida really needs to live like golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden They're about to see it shine, cause we're golden Welcome to Top Nation News. My name is Tony. And I'm Annalise. Let's get straight into the news. Last night, the boys' basketball team put up a fight but unfortunately fell short. The game ended with a score of 50-45. to 45. Meanwhile, the girls' basketball team fought hard, winning 30-25. to 25. A special thank you to Charles Hathaway for being an honorary coach. Be prepared. Report cards from the first semester will be sent out today during 4A. This Thursday, January 16th, a wrestling match will be held at Hillwood. They will be facing Hunters Lane and Cane Ridge. Make sure you come out and support your Hillwood Toppers. And now to Dylan and Ike with Oscar nominations. We're going to start out with Best Actress. I'm going to read those off. Uh, for Best Actress, we have... I'm trying to pronounce this as best as I can. Cynthia Erivo for Harriet. Scarlett Johansson for Marriage Story. Soros Ronan for Little Women. Charlize Theron in Bombshell, and Renee Zellweger in Judy. Who do you think is going to win this one? I, I think uh, Renee is going to take it for Judy. Because, uh, well, I'd like to see Scarlett Johansson take it for Marriage Story, but I think she, uh, Renee did way better for Judy than Scarlett did for Marriage Story. But I do think that uh, Ana de Armas, if I'm pronouncing that right, for Knives Out, was probably the biggest snub of the Oscars this year, in my opinion. Oh. Um, I'm fine with either Scarlett Johansson in Marriage Story or Soros Ronan in Little Women. So I, I like those actresses, and Marriage Story was amazing. Really Agreed. should have just been called War Story, but um, <laughs> Renee Zellweger will probably, probably win this. Yeah. I would say definite win. All right, now on to Best Actor. We've got Antonio Banderas for Pain and Glory, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Adam Driver for Marriage Story, uh, Jonathan Price for The Two Popes, and Joaquin Phoenix for Joker. What do you think is going to win? Everybody probably wants Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, I think that it should just be completely removed because it's a little overrated performance. Um, Adam Driver or Leonardo DiCaprio will win. Uh, well, yeah, I think I, I'm real tossed up on this one. I really think they're going to give it to Joaquin, even though I liked Adam Driver a lot more uh, and Leo a lot more, but I don't think it's Leo's year to win. Um, you want to read the best picture you want me to? You can. All right. For best picture, we got Ford v. Ferrari, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, Joker, Little Women, Marriage Story, 1917, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Parasite. What do you think will win? It's probably going to be Marriage Story or Joker because, you know, that's how it is. I want Jojo Rabbit's win. I'd kill to have such an original idea win. Got that. a point there. Um, I personally think the Irishman is probably going to take this one home. Uh, another snub for me is Knives Out. I think Knives Out should have uh, gotten at least a nomination for Best Picture. I don't think it would have won, but I think it would have gone a long Definitely way. Definitely should have gotten it over Joker. Yeah, I think it should have got it over Little Women, but that's me. Uh, but this has been a great year for movies, and I also... Hope that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood wins because that's one of my favorite movies of the year. And back to Tony and Elise. Hope you have a good rest of your day and thanks for watching. Signing out.